Welcome to part two of the problem of Cash Baker. And, uh, yeah, the religious stuff, it's going to have to add up to where the problem really starts. So you're going to have to watch through this part two to find out more and if the pro the real issue is not in there just yet, then you're going to have to wait for other parts of the videos to come. So let's start this, this video here. So you're saying, where's God? Where's God right now? If God was real, why would he be letting this happen to me? And you know, guys, we never stop to think, maybe God's going, where are you? Where are you right now? Are you, li are you living for God? Or do you only want him when something bad is going on? Do you only want him when life's not going your way? Are you only praying to him when something bad happens in your life? But then when life's going your way, life's going all great, you don't even care, and you're not praying to God, you don't even open your Bible. But then all of a sudden something happens, and you're like, where are you, God? Where are you right now? But God isn't just a backup plan that you can use when life's not going your way. God is always there for you, believe it or not. But guys, the question is, are you always there for God? I mean, I'm not going to lie. God's always there for all of us. For me as well. But I still don't understand why would you bring up religion on TikTok now. Because I don't think I don't think TikTok is a place for that, but. But I believe in God. Church is just a place where Christians are supposed to gather and talk about Jesus and then go out into the world and spread the gospel. You do not have to go to church to go to heaven, no. But with that said, you don't just believe in God to go to heaven either. If you believe in God, you should want to go to church, yes. But if you can't go to church, that does not mean you're not going to heaven. If there is some reason that you just can't, then that's fine. Like, there's nothing that in the Bible that says you have to go to church three times a month to get into heaven, no. But you should always be wanting to learn more about God than you can. Trust me, it gets weirder and weirder and weirder from there. So you want to become a Christian, but you have no clue where to start, right? Guys, just start off by praying to God and just reading the Bible. Literally, that is all it takes. Just pray to God, read the Bible, and you will find out everything for yourself. But guys, don't look at it as becoming a Christian or like a religion. Look at it as building a relationship with God because that's what it is. It's not a religion as more as it is a relationship with God. Guys, also, if you want to watch YouTube videos on it, one of the best pastors or preachers I know is Francis Chan. So go look up Francis Chan on YouTube, and he has a ton of videos that you can go watch on there. Also, an amazing guy to watch on YouTube is Todd White. So if you go look up Todd White on YouTube, uh, his videos are absolutely amazing as well. So, yeah. Yeah, we're almost done with that part of the video here. Uh, yeah, let's keep watching more. Trust me, I know how hard this can be when you just keep sinning over and over and over and you feel like you're never going to get out of it or escape it. But guys, you can if you put God first in your life. And guys, what that means by putting God first in your life, that is putting him first above everything. A lot of people say, I would die for God, yeah, but will you stop sinning for God? And guys, no matter how hard it gets, you just have to put him first and put your sins behind you. If you love him enough and you truly want to be with him, you will give up your sins. And guys, no matter how many times you do sin, he will forgive you for them. But with that said, don't go just sinning thinking God will just forgive you. That is a no-no. Don't do that. If you don't really mean it at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You have to truly mean it and truly want to stop sinning. Trust me, I know how hard this can be when you just keep sinning over and over. And that is where I'm going to have to start making part three. Again, I, I, I have no problem with him speaking on religion, but there are other parts that I'm going to bring to you in so many other videos leading up to this. So yeah, tune in for part three if you want to find out what it is.